DJ Archangel. Angel. DJ Archangel.
DJ Archangel. Man, I done hit the wrong button. <laughs> Uh, that's the way to start the show. Just hit the wrong button right off the bat. What's going on, everybody? I'm Alex. I'm on your screen, and welcome to week. I believe it's week ten. Oh, uh, that's because that's we're gonna just we're gonna start counting week by week, and that's how we're gonna because we're not gonna do episodes because it's a whole thing. But either way, what's going on? Yeah, I know y'all don't know the first match already. I was supposed to be a damn surprise and everything. I I'm giving away the secrets and shit. <laughs> that's how we do it right in here on your screen championship wrestling well hey we're gonna dive right into it i was trying to do i was trying to go right into the first match but i didn't want to like screw it up and miss anything and i screwed it up anyway so it's all good but welcome everybody we're here for a great show tonight it's gonna be a fun time geek afk already here duns is here wayne's here so we're ready to rock and roll so last week we saw a surprise in the mayhem masters title match where uh, Charlie decided that she was going to make herself a part of that match. Not sure how that was uh, made official by a uh, bot on your screen, but he said, to hell with it, go for it. And Charlie went out, challenged for the title, and won. Surprise, motherfucker. Amber's here, too. Hell yeah, what's going on, everybody? So, Charlie, just sneaking her way into the match and winning it. Well, we are on Mayhem this week, and this is the show where the Mayhem Masters title is defended and where the next challenger is decided in the Mayhem Melee at the end of the show. So we're going to start the show off right with a little bit of a rematch action. We're going to have a triple threat match, no disqualifications, to find out truly who is going to be the Mayhem Masters title holder, and then we will find out who their challenger is at the end of the evening. So without further ado, we're going to find... Why does it take me? To what is it doing? Man, let's just go. <laughs> Killer making his way to the ring right now. You can go on and get your bets in in the chat. Who is going to win this triple threat match? Killer says he's like, I got fucking screwed. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There is Boost, who was the Mayhem Masters title holder. Making his way to the ring. Mr. Dunn's, of course, going to officiate this match because when you need a match to not have any outside interference, Mr. Dunn's is who you call. And here is the Mayhem Masters champion is Charlie. Just realized I screwed something else up, too. No, I didn't. Why isn't the thing working? Let's see if we can't fix it. No? Huh? Okay. 
Charlie says, I thought I'd never hold this title again, but it's back in my hands where it belongs. What the hell was that? Well, that's never happened before. We're off to a great start with Mayhem this week. <laughs> Charlie said, Wah! Oh, man. This is going great, man. Week 10 of, <laughs> of CW Mayhem. Holy shit. Why is it not showing Charlie as the, the champ over here? I don't know why that's not working right. And I had a cool like graphic thing set up for that. Why is that not? So, man, this is all just everything is breaking apart. It was fine two hours ago. Oh, I'm gonna have to reset the whole match and everything here. Oh, I got to redo the ring colors and everything, man. All right. We're going to get this going here. No, Charlie is not the referee. Mr. Dunn's is the referee. All right. Versus boost. And AFK. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the little intro video thing again for like 30 seconds. And we're going to restart the show and then go right into the first match. But I got to get this all. So I might as well just put the uh, put the game up here. Oh, a little behind the scenes action here. I wish you could save your own versions of these presets. Is there a way to do that that I don't know about? Because I do the exact same thing every time. And then the only, so uh, this is the main setup. And I'll be doing the ring at like 96 is like my going. I think that's the, like a good size. But then I do light posts, light pads. And we go... So the pink color for Mayhem and the blue color for uh, Destruction. All right, so that's the, that's the arena setup. It's a title match, so it's 30 minute defend titles. It is triple threat, so we're gonna go uh, no DQ, just kind of by default, that's how it is. We weren't, I was gonna have Charlie do a little promo thing about uh, Regaining the title. Well, we can still do it if it doesn't want to break everything again. All right, there we go. Charlie celebrates regaining the championship. I think we're back to normal here. But see, I've got to see. I don't understand why this. Up here. I did a really cool thing with the graphics, and I, I want it to, because if we're going to be resetting here, I want it to work right before it starts. This is the most important part of all the graphics changes. And you can also see everyone's record up here now. You could see the loss for Boost and uh, Killa from where they lost the match, so that's all up there. Now, those don't update live yet, because I, in testing, I realize I'm, I'm like toggling on and off who won the match all the time to test stuff out. So uh, I wouldn't want to automatically add a win every time I press the uh, the win button because I'm using that a lot in test matches and stuff. And I don't want to have every time I do it, I don't want to be like, oh, I'll go back and manually fix it. So I'm just going to manually update it. And also, depending on storyline stuff, sometimes a win's not really a win. You know, I, so I'm just going to update them manually after every every show because it don't take but a few minutes. Um, 
And also, it's kind of part of the booking for the next show, realistically. Uh, but I don't understand. Charlie is the... And then we'll refresh. All right. That's going to drive me nuts. And if we're, if we're kind of doing a reset here... Anyway, I've got to figure this shit out because it's going to drive me crazy. No error messages. What the fuck is going on? Oh, because I'm an idiot. That's what's going on. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Let me make sure I got this stupid shit right. Still doesn't work? Why is it still not working? Ah, ha, 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 ha. I know why. Ha ha ha! Finally, I know it's stupid, but I got it to work. <laughs> Title belts, baby! <laughs> it wasn't a, a great surprise, but uh, I've got title belts worked into the graphics, and it's kind of, I haven't quite landed on how I wanted to look yet, because I wanted it to be part of, like, the little nameplate thing, but I didn't, it took up too much space to have it underneath that by itself, so I wanted to have it, like, blended in there or whatever, but each title has its own design style, of course, Charlie is the Mayhem Masters Champion, so it's got the, the Mayhem color scheme and whatnot. All right, well, I got that fixed. Look at that. Making code changes live on the fly. It's how we do shit around here, son. All right. We'll reset all of that. Okay. None of this happened. Y'all didn't see any of that. It's all... It's all it's a figment of your imagination. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to the... Uh, the geek's right. This is mayhem. He says, this is real mayhem. AFK says we're <laughs> technical difficulties. All right. So I'm going to go back to the title screen. Don't go anywhere. We're not leaving. I'm going to go to the title screen for like 30 seconds, start the match, and then we're going to, we're just going to dive right into the first match. And I'm going to repeat a bunch of the shit that I already said because I want it to be in the VOD or whatever. So here we go. <laughs> holy shit all right we'll go back to the intro view here and then hopefully shit's not all fucked up all right be right back DJ Welcome everybody! 
to this week's episode of On Your Screen Championship Wrestling's Mayhem. We are diving right in tonight with our first matchup of the evening. And it is going to be Charlie versus Boost versus Killa. And here is your champion. Last week, making her way in, kind of interfering, turning the uh, Mayhem Masters Championship match into a triple threat. Well, this week we have a real triple threat match for the title. And it is going to be Charlie seeing if she can hold on now that these guys have had time to prepare for this match. Oh, throw in the sign is killer there. I never thought I would hold this title again, but it's back in my hands where it belongs, Charlie says. This time, I won't let it slip through my fingers. Losing was a lesson I had to learn the hard way. All right, does anybody know what the deal is with this? Why this keeps happening? Well, obviously, that's what I'm going to do this time, Geek, but, like, does that does that happen every time? I've never had that happen before. Yeah, it's it's never done it before for me either. Duns, I have no idea, man. It is it's just frustrating. Because I have to redo all this stuff. And I mean, I, obviously I love this game and Damn near everything about this game is awesome, but it's it's the same situation as Car X, where the developer, well, this is in this case, it's one developer, uh, is constantly adding all of these new features when there's like really annoying shit in the game that needs to be fixed and wouldn't be that difficult. It's it's nice to be able to say that too, as a like a as a programmer and not as like a. Uh, so, you know, just the, the armchair gamer or whatever that's like, oh, well, it can't be that hard to fix it. I've literally done it, so I can tell you. Uh, and it's, it's you know, stuff like where I have to, I, like, there's presets for the rings, but you can't save one. Like, so I have to go in and redo the ring setup every single time I start the game. Um... And, like, it won't remember your game company so every time you open up an exhibition match it just loads random shit in why just store the last rest the last exhibition match like simple 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 stuff like i don't know it's frustrating because now i have to you know spend another 10 minutes doing this uh let's see it was Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Josh, exactly. <bro. laughs> this is like childbirth being in the game. Well, and like I can see I've obviously and I've done the same thing. Like when you want to add new cool shit, but you've got like simple stuff that doesn't work. I've done it. I, I you know, I've totally, totally done it. So I'm not like saying the guy's an idiot or anything like that, but it, it's just wishful thinking. I wish they would take care of certain things. It's the same thing with Car X. Like they, you know, they're adding all of this crazy shit that kind of uh, nobody really asked for or people are like, hey, that would be great. But can you do this stuff first? And they're like, no, we're not going to do that stuff first. Uh, it's kind of, it's the same thing. Okay. So got the match set back up. Yeah. And like, he's working on like, you know, you can shoot a basketball as part of like the exercise part of like the single player. That's super fucking cool. Like that stuff is so awesome. But like every time you go to start up like an exhibition match, like I said, you have to reset everything. Just just save what it last was when you exited the game. Like every video game ever does that, you know, like it wouldn't take 10 minutes. I mean, maybe I could shoot him an email and just like, Hey bud, you know, I do this serious thing on Twitch and then we, I've noticed every single time I load the game up, I'm always in exhibition mode and it doesn't say, you know, do you think maybe that's something you could work in? Because maybe, that's like a five minute fix for him. And he's like, Oh yeah, I can do that. Cool. And then throws it in. And then the next update, boom, we're fixed. Or he might just be like, no, he might go to look at it and be like, fuck, that's going to, I'd have to redo this whole thing. No, I can't do that. I mean, maybe there's a reason why he can't do it because the way that the data is set up, but I would generally think that that part would be a super, super simple fix. Um, yeah, just save just save the game state of what the last match was. But anyway, all right, so we have the match back in. I, I don't know. I've never seen the, the promo thing uh, break like that before. So, all right, this is going to be the third try. Because uh, you guys already, y'all y'all got all your betting in, or do y'all want me to cancel? I'm going to delete the, uh, the betting here, return you guys' points back and everything, and we'll do a new one uh, when we start this matchup. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to go back to the intro thing again. I I agree. AFK, I agree. They uh it, it, they definitely like the microphone is right here over there. Like nobody does that. But and I mean some of the stuff is and the guy has got he's got so much leeway. As far as like things being in what we would consider in in like triple A like modern style titles, we would consider them to be shitty. But he's got so much leeway with like the graphic style of this game is shitty is good. Like it's endearing, it's cute. Like the wrestlers in the game putting the microphone right on top of their mouth, like because it's part of the wacky animations, you know. Like it fits the the thing. Oh, I don't have mine. Doesn't do that. AFK. See, that's the thing too. Is how do how are there like we having such wildly different bugs? Like you guys said, you have never seen like them the characters explode and then the game crash like that before. So I don't I don't know, but we'll find out either way. Let me. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do the intro thing one more time. So hopefully we can get a single show vod out of this. Uh, if it breaks again this time, we'll just kind of treat it like a normal stream. We're gonna get through the matches regardless, but we'll just treat it like a normal. A normal stream. I might even switch back over to the regular. Uh, well, no, because we still need the betting and everything like that. But either way. Okay, so we're a half. We're exactly one half hour in and we haven't even started the first match. All right. Let's try it. Hey, hey once again, real quick. I am not complaining. This game is fucking amazing. Well, I am complaining, but I'm not like. Oh, this guy sucks. Not no, no. This game is fucking hilarious. It's amazing. That's why we based. I built this whole overlay thing. We based an entire fucking two nights of the stream every week are about doing this. So like, the, I fucking love this game. It's just like these like one or two little things that it was the same with Car X. It's like they finally fixed that sound bug. 
uh, for Car X with the drone cam, and it was like that was like a fucking game changer for my stuff, um, for the slide style streams and everything like that. So like little shit like that. Uh, so maybe one day, and like I said, mate. He's focused on the the single player and everything like that. I mean, he might not think about the exhibition mode much. It's kind of just in there for like practice or testing and, you know, just messing with that. So he doesn't give a shit if it, you know, you load it up and it's random wrestlers or whatever. And he might not know that there's that we like we do stuff like this. Um, So if I've maybe shot an email over, hey, bud, how hard would it be to like save the exhibition mode game state? when you leave the game and he might come back with, Oh shit, I can do that easy. So I don't, maybe I'll try it. Yeah. That's the cool thing about small developers like that too. Duns. I, I hope he does. That would be, that would be cool. And I don't want to, I don't want to come off like a dick either. I don't want to, cause I don't want him to think of me as like that, the armchair gamer or whatever. It's like, well, can you add this feature? Of anything? Like, I want to just be like, you know, I've got to, I want to make sure I word it right. And be like, hey, do you think it would be possible? You know, because I don't want to come off like, uh, I definitely, I'm not going to like email him and be like, yo, I know this shit's not hard at it. Because I don't, I, you know, I wouldn't want somebody to talk to me like that. <laughs> so, of course, that's not how, you know, and I'm not saying that. Like I said, I, I'm thinking it's not hard because a, as programmers, we, we try to give each other benefit of the doubt. So you treat every programmer like they're the greatest programmer until they prove otherwise. Uh, Same for any profession, really. So it's just kind of a respect thing. So I'm going to assume that he's done the database in a way that that would be super quick and easy for him. Uh, But it's possible over the years of doing this game that it is not easy at all. (laughs) And I have been there. Holy shit, have I been there. So let's try it. One more time, no promo this time, and hopefully the game does not crash, and we'll be able to get this rolling. So I think I've done everything. Is my reshade shit doing what it's supposed to do? Yes, it is. The match is ready. Oh, yeah, I added that. Yeah, I added a, uh, oh, oh, that was a way for me to tag, uh. Like, just if I had a question about, hey, what do you guys think about doing such and so? I don't want to tag everyone because a, a lot of people in our Discord don't give a shit about the OCW stuff. And then on the, it's on the flip side. We have people that only care about this wrestling stuff. So, like, I wanted to make a way to, like, just tag the people that do that. So, Yogi, welcome, buddy. Oh, well, guess what, my friend? You are here just in time because we've been having technical issues galore. And for once... Well, there was one little minor thing with my overlay stuff, but that was just a, 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 a looks thing. But um, minor, there were technical issues with the game kept locking up on us, and we think it's because of the promo thing going on. Oh, that's also something I could put in my email to the guy, too. But uh, either way, Yogi, you have a title match tonight, my friend. You are the uh, the main event. Well, of course, the Mayhem Melee is the last match, but you are the main event of the evening in a title match with none other than Tracy, who was able to make you tap out on Thursday. The first person ever to make Yogi tap out in an OCW ring. So we, like I said, technical difficulties and everything. So we are getting ready. Here, let me go on and unactivate that match. And see, and then it puts me back here. I've got to figure, I got to figure that part out. But either way, we are, we're going to switch over to the intro thing real quick. I'm not going anywhere. So you guys hang out right here. We're going to try to start over one more time. And this is the last try for the, for the VOD. Otherwise, if it, if it glitches out again, we're just going to treat it like a regular stream and just hang out and fuck with the game. And we'll get through the matches one way or another. But uh, here we go. Attempt number three. OCW Mayhem, so don't go nowhere. Stay right there. I'm not leaving. We're coming. Give me 30 seconds, and we're going to be right back in here.
everybody to On Your Screen Championship Wrestling's Mayhem. It's Monday night. You know what that means. It's time to throw down and get some wrestling action in right here tonight. This is our totally our first time doing this. We have had zero technical difficulties tonight at all. None. It's been a wonderful, awesome start to OCW this week. <laughs> but we've got to get this first match in and we're ready to get the show started. So just as a quick recap, last Thursday on the first ever episode of Destruction, there was a match. For the Mayhem Masters title, even though that's that title's supposed to be defended on Mayhem, we were we were celebrating the first ever destruction show. So we had that go on, and Charlie decided to uh, make herself part of that match. She said, "I used to be the Mayhem Masters champion, and I want that title back. I want to have it again." So she came marching right out the curtain, pretty much right after the beginning of the match, and said, "I'm getting in this match too." And then was able to come away with the victory and regain her Mayhem Masters title. So tonight we are having the official rematch to determine who is the one true Mayhem Master and who is going to be facing them tonight. I'm Penis Man! <laughs> it's Penis no, Man. Gonna the be fuck there is. You are not! The best there was and the best there ever will be! <laughs> Oh boy, so it is going to be Charlie versus you Moose versus list. Killer. <laughs> We're about to get that match started up right now. So go on and get your bets going in the chat right now. There it is. And we are going to fire this one up. Get started now. And hopefully it works this time. All right, let's do it. There is Boost making his way to the ring. Well, making his way over to the commentary table first. I don't know why you had to take my table away, man. I was I'm just sitting here. What's that all about? Climbs into the ring. What's he got? He took my phone, son of a bitch. Took my phone. Well, here comes the Mayhem Masters champion. Charlie, get, get my phone back. From my... Boost, give me my damn... Man, if you break that... Stop clicking on it. Don't be going through. He's going to make a call. You can call right now. Good grief. All right, Killer's on his way to the ring right now. It's, yeah, give me my damn, give me my phone back. Got a hammer. If you smash my phone with that hammer, I swear. All right, well, this matchup is underway. I think it looks like, nope, there's my phone. Oh, great. It's going to Charlie steps on my phone in the middle of the ring, but these three are after it here. Somebody's already busted open. What happened there? Did somebody get cracked right over the eye? Oh, got German suplex on in my phone. Thanks for that. Big power bomb there from Boost. Charlie picking my phone up. I appreciate that. Can you uh, put it in your pocket or something and give it back to me later? Oh, sit out pile driver there from Charlie. Going after Boost. Oh! My phone exploded! Son of a bitch! What about Blue Charlie's arm off? Took a chunk out of Killa's back. Boost seemed to have been protected by the title belt there. My damn phone. Look at that. Blew a hole in the ring. Look at that. Charlie's whole face is good grief. Go to the hospital after this one. Another big power bomb from Boost. Boost is not happy about having his title taken away. There is the pen, but Killer comes in to break it up. You can see Boost's got that title on his shoulder there. He says, I'm going to hold on to this. Charlie takes it away from him. Sit out face buster on that pile of cash that Charlie always brings. And then a cutter right on the back. Boost is putting in work in this match. He wants that title back some kind of serious. And I don't have a phone anymore, man. Headlock applied to Killer here, sending the punches up. 
course, this is a no disqualification match. So that means there are no rope breaks. But the title does have to be won in the ring. It is not a falls count anywhere match. Any pinfalls or submissions do have to be in the ring. Cat's here with the lurk. What's going on, Cat? You're damn right I'm concerned about the phone, Geek. <laughs> boost owes me a new one. Speaking of Boost, Boost is fired up here. Charlie's still bleeding all over the place. And oh, thrown overhead. Launched into the ropes, bouncing off the apron, the ropes, everything. That could do some serious damage. Now Boost is going maybe looking for some weapons here. Dominating this match from the beginning. Got Charlie's stack of cash there. Says, I'll hold on to this. Thank you very much. Headlock take over there. Charlie trying to get involved back in this. Thrown overhead again from uh, from Killer there. Boost grabbing the title says this is mine. Both of these guys focusing on Charlie after the events of uh, after the events last time around. Oh, quick pin attempt there. Oh, the triangle choke applied. Inverted triangle. It looked like there on Killer. Able to get out of it. Belly to belly suplex from Charlie throwing some strength there. You can still see the damage on the face. German suplex there went for the bridge, unable to hold on to it. Middle fingers there to boost, but he kicks back up. Killer comes over and uh, takes control of the position. Sends him flying. Now goes to face off with Charlie. They lock up. Uh oh, Charlie going for another pile driver. Back body drop there. Killer just thrown over top and then more damage to the face with a curb stomp from Boost. Headlock takeover applied with the hold on here. Charlie comes over to break it up after suffering that crazy curb stomp. I'm surprised she's able to move at all. Looks like a sitting sleeper hold applied to boost here. Is Charlie going to be able to stop this? You see Dunn's looking on closely. Charlie is so out of it here. Roll through by boost. Charlie, they're exchanging submission holds here. And Killa says that's enough of that. Boom! Pop up power bomb. I'm afraid to do any replays because I don't want anything to break. <laughs> we finally got going here tonight. Uh-oh, quick roll up there from Boost onto Charlie. And can AFK turn around and stop it? Charlie is able to kick out. We'll try a replay here in a little bit. We'll see what we'll see what we get. Boom! Huge shit out pile driver there straight into that inverted triangle, but then grabbing the legs. Is Killa, he says, I want the title too. Went for that like Superman punch, looks like on Charlie there, but uh, miscalculated the angle. Backslide applied. Boost interferes with that. Quickly uh, exchanging holds here. All three super exhausted here. Boost says, come on and bring it. Dominated the early part of this match, but now has taken some damage. takedown from Killa there. You can tell how exhausted all three of these combatants are. Uh-oh. Pin there, but where's Duns? Duns is leaving the ring. He missed it. Could have been a count of four or five there. Lucky for Boost. Duns was distracted by something. Not sure what was going on outside the ring. Huge neck breaker there from Charlie. Dustin, what's going on? Appreciate the follow, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Middle of this week's episode of, oh, well, right at the beginning of this week's episode of OCW Mayhem. Dunn says, I saw something shiny. <laughs> Do 
go check it out, man. I don't know. Big double axe handle there. Still see all that damage on the face of Charlie. Just sent over the top by Boost. And you can see them still uh, fighting over that title belt. That's what this match is all about. Oh! Death Valley driver there from Charlie. Will she retain? And at the last second, Boost is able to kick out there. Didn't have time to hit the replay because I was watching to see if Charlie was able to get the pinfall there. Wow, these three looking to separate. Get their breath back, get their wits back about them before diving back in. Probably about halfway through the time on this match. Face buster there from Boost goes for uh, goes for the pin. Killer's not gonna have that. Takes out both wrestlers and the referee. Mr. Dunn's like, I was too close, that's my bad. I'll get out the way. Charlie going for that knee bar here. Or no, that's a uh, killer. And now it's a figure four applied. Charlie breaks that up with the elbow to boost. Charlie pinned down in the corner here. She's able to kick her way back up. Tries to throw killer over the top rope there. Is unable to get him far enough over. Still trying to get him out of the ring, it looks like. Still attacking Killa, got, it, got it so focused in, forgot Boost was behind, just watching it all unfold. Ooh! Is that like an inverted DDT? I, I don't know what the hell that was. And now the crab applied, but here is quickly the pin from Killa, unable to get the uh, three count there. So much going on in this matchup. It's hard to keep up with everything. Going for the flying Superman punch there was Killa. And Boost ducked it. Looked like an awkward landing on the knee for Killa there. Charlie taking advantage of that situation. Middle fingers to both men. Says, I'm going to retain this belt whether you like it or not. Huge curb stomp there from Boost again. Killa is there to break up any pin attempt. They're going to have to get one of these wrestlers out of the ring. Here is a pinfall attempt from Boost, but Killa is able to kick out. Just attacking the face repeatedly of Charlie here after that uh, mishap with the phone at the beginning of the matchup. Looks like Dunn's caught one of those punches there. Got rocked a little bit. So I kind of saw him like, oh, shit. This match is too crazy for me. I'm going to take this money. I'm not getting paid enough for all this. You see Charlie and Killer are down here. Boost got the title belt on his shoulder. Says, I'll be taking this home. But he's thrown over the top rope. Killer might have been playing possum there a bit. Throws Boost over the top rope. Now is the time for one of these two to take advantage. Charlie's picking boost up here. Quick body slam. Locked up on the outside here. Charlie's got some type of front face lock. Now a waist lock applied. More like a bear hug from Killa. Now we can't see what's going on. Come on, cameraman, work with us. Move that boom camera around the corner. Dunn's is going to get close on the... Uh, Action here. Looks like he might have tweaked his neck on the way out of the ring. Now the camera's making its way back around so we can see what's going on here. Was that a stunner to Charlie there? It looked to barely see. I believe it was. Still attacking the face of Charlie here. With 
course, this being a triple threat match, it is uh, no DQ kind of by default, so that means there are no countouts. But there is a 30-minute time limit in this match, so if it were to go the distance, Charlie would retain her Mayhem Masters tighter. And it looks like the armbar applied there would have had Charlie. She was tapping out. But, of course, falls in a title match only count inside the ring. Got to be inside the squared circle. These three are absolutely going at it here on the side of the ring. Killer takes the title, says, I'm going to win this, and I'm going to win it in the ring. Let's go. Goes for the flying crossbody onto Charlie. Now, she might be out of commission with the drop kick to boot, but she just jumps right back to her feet. Fired up here. Boost taken down. Now it's just AFK and Charlie in the center of the ring. Rolls through, grabs the pin here. She's got the tights. Is that going to be three? Killa is able to kick out. Unable to get the match finished before Boost is able to come back in. Let's see if he's able to wreak a little bit of havoc here. Belly to belly suplex there. Charlie throwing over the top. Boost comes in after AFK. Big forearm there. Killer throws him away. Charlie launches him to the ropes. He comes back. She had turned her focus to boost there as he was crawling towards the ring. Middle fingers to AFK there. Throws the big right hand. Snapmare through. What's she going for here? Oh! Big knee drop to the back of the head of Killer there. Will Boost be able to take advantage? No, he rolls through. Grabs that face lock. Charlie went for some type of submission hold there. So exhausted. Oh, and she taps out Boost with the win. The double leg crab, the sharpshooter applied. And he will retain, or he will win back his original Mayhem Masters title. Congratulations to Boost. I bet you with my little program, I could have it automatically switch over the title on my, my graphics and stuff too. But Boost is the winner of the first matchup of the evening. And he will be facing off next week against the winner of tonight's final matchup, the Mayhem Melee, the full roster battle royal. Always a fun time. Definitely uh, the, one of the highlights of OCW for sure. But until then, we have got to move on to our next match of the evening. We're going to get that one set up right here. This one's a little bit of a bigger matchup, so give me just a quick second here. But what an awesome match that was. So how was everybody's weekend while I get this match set up? What is uh, anybody do anything interesting, but up to anything cool? Amber had some friends staying over for the weekend. That's fun. Geek's got a band concert happening. 
Oh, Dines with the gifted sub and hooking up Boost too. You are the man. Well, hey, look at that. Boost winning something. He's winning the title and winning the sub. Hell yeah. Josh was in a Marvel versus Capcom 2 tournament. Hell yeah. I bet that was fun. Didn't win. Hey, but no worries. Leech, you had a good time. That's what it's all about. All right. Duns, you're awesome, dude. I appreciate that so much. All right. Well, I believe we are all set up. I hope we're all set up, ready to go here for our next match. So on Thursday's destruction, of course, their first match here in OCW was pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Was Pork Chop and Ace Montana, but they had a little help in the tag match, almost using uh, some outside interference to win. They wanted to come in with the bang and make sure they won the title. They had some insurance, but uh, it was not to be. The Greek gods were able to retain the titles in that main event, but seems they have already incurred a friendship. So Porkchop and Ace Montana are going to be teaming up in a trios tag match this evening alongside of Josh, the, the, the kickboxing submission specialist over here. But, of course, there's already an established team in OCW, a stable of sorts in the, the dojo of Santaku, who has been trying to recruit new members around the, uh, around the roster. So, of course, these three will be facing off against Santaku, Frosty, and first-time matchup ever in OCW and Ethan Cross. And as a reminder for anybody that may not have been here last week, in real life, Ethan Cross is the man that... Uh, his name is Jay, and uh, he's he's the man that, that trained me from 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 the start, from learning how to bump, how to hit the ropes. I mean, everything you name it in pro wrestling. As I I got my start in pro wrestling due to Ethan Cross, so I I got his uh, character in the game, hooked up as close to uh, real life as I could here. So uh, we are gonna get that match ready to fire up right now. Ah, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Running all the way over to the other side of the screen. <laughs> that is what it is. Ain't nothing we can do about it right now. So. Actually, you know what I could do? Nah, I ain't going to worry about it. All right. So that's happening. But we're going to go on and get the betting for this match started right now. So who do you guys think? Is going to come away with this one? No, we're not allowed to do that either. Whose name does it not like? I double checked all of that. What's going on? Okay, so since we're here and you guys are hanging out with me, all these names across the top of your screen, which one of these names would trigger some type of censorship in a poll or a prediction on Twitch? It's just their names, Dunn. So Sharpshooter is not, that's just his nickname thing. It's just their names. So Pork Chop, Ace Montana, and Josh... Versus, and then the other one would be Santaku, Frosty, and Ethan Cross. It's not Frosty because he's done slide style. It's not Santaku. We've been using his for weeks. Obviously, it's not Josh. How is it? I, I mean, I, all of these names have previously been in predictions. What the fuck? <laughs> Nothing is going to work tonight. It's true mayhem all the way around. All right. Well, I will I will manually do a prediction then. All 
All right. Pork chop and Josh. Two minutes. Boom. See? No, it's that they're not gonna they're not gonna do pork for that. What they what they don't let you use is like they don't like you doing stuff for like drugs. Because we found we have to do Foxy as F C X Y because Oxy for like Oxycodone. They don't it's really, really dumb. But anyway, so there's like everybody's names basically right there, and uh, except for Ethan's last name. Obviously, Montana would not be a problem. So who knows? But either way, the bet is in the chat. So get it in there. See what you think. And we're going to get this fired up and get started right now. All right, here it comes. team of pork chop josh and ace here showing some love in the entryway and then here comes santaku this is like i said he's trying to get some to recruit some guys to his stable here New friends with uh, Ethan Cross there. Of course, currently incarcerated in the local prison, but he is granted work release as a professional wrestler to make a little bit of money during his uh, during his time in jail. And. <laughs> Pork Chop applies a headlock takeover. <laughs> and Ethan immediately taps out. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> And they lost. <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Duns is right. Had to make up for the... Uh... <laughs> We had to cut the match for time because of the technical difficulties at the beginning. All right. So we, we've we got Pork Chop Ace and Josh won the match. So we'll go on ahead and complete the prediction. Oh man, we're gonna, we're gonna, Josh, we're gonna actually like, we're gonna start the match over. It's just as far as the betting, the predictions, and the official record for OCW goes, that is going to be a win for Pork Chop, Ace, and Josh. But, uh, however, we are going to start the match again <laughs> so that they can actually have a match. That was hilarious. Let me make sure that everything is uh, all set up here. All right, we've got our regular uh, tag match here. <laughs> Let's, I'll skip the entrances. All right, so here we go. 
These guys get started. Miss Official will be uh, officiating this matchup. And it is still going to be Ethan versus Porkchop off the start. We get a flying forearm there from Ethan. No, it is going to be Frosty and Porkchop off the start. Man, that was funny as hell. This has been such a chaotic night, man. Mayhem is definitely the, the proper name for this show. But, uh, Geek, you guys are uh, not going to be on this card after you had your uh, the main event on Thursday. Of course, you guys will be back in action again on Thursday. And Amber's right, that is quite possibly the uh, fastest match. Look, you see the springboard to the chokehold there on Ace from Ethan. Just hilarious because I've actually literally seen that happen before. Uh, Pork Shock taking Frosty down here. Mr. Fissel is doing nothing to uh, get these guys out of the ring. Looked like uh, Josh was grinding Santaku's face into that water bottle there. Looks like finally we have some order restored in this trio's tag match here. Roll through here from Ace, but that is going to be a rope break here. Don't know why Mr. Fischl had to run all the way over to call that. All right, these two lock up again. We'll see if we get some actual wrestling going here. Another quick pin attempt, but nope, we are going to devolve right back into chaos. Mr. Fischl tells them to get back to their corners. They do. Santaku with the tag in from Frosty here. As the referee is distracted, he makes his way back to his corner here. Ace and Santaku locking up. Oh, big German suplex there. That's hard to do on a sumo wrestler. Quick hip toss there, also hard to do on a sumo wrestler. And just the, the power of Santaku holding up the 275-pound Ace Montana with the chokehold, but then Josh showing the strength, pulling him over the top ropes to the floor. Santaku not appreciating that, hooking the leg and bringing him down. Josh is not happy about that. You see him pacing around, has that pipe there. Or no, that's a crutch. Is he going to swing the crutch on Santaku here? Santaku throws Ace into Josh. And Porkchop is tagged in to face off with Santaku here. Gut wrench suplex from Porkchop. But Santaku quickly grabs the hold and rolls through with the Gator Roll. Porkchop lining up his prey here. They lock up. Sends the man to his corner. Look, knocks both of his teammates off the ropes. Or almost Frosty's able to hold on. Ethan knocked to the floor. As Porkchop and Santaku have some words in the center of the ring. I wonder if Santaku's not trying to recruit Porkchop to his own faction here. It looks like he uh, declined the offer. The two are getting after it here. Meanwhile, Miss Official has a hammer, throws it out of the ring. So Ethan is amped up in the corner. He's trying to get in on this matchup. Frosty's trying to get on this matchup as well. You see Santaku mocking Porkchop there. And Porkchop doesn't appreciate it. Sends him flying over the top rope. This so we'll get a replay of that. You can see he mocks Porkchop, the atomic dog, with that chest pounding. And Porkchop says, get your ass up out of my ring. Don't you be making fun of me. Tag made, Porkchop still the legal man here, as is Santaku, who is being counted out by the referee now, up to a count of five, as he makes his way back in. 
Well, the ref's not looking. Ethan grabs pork chop and sends her to the outside, but I think she may have uh, caught it. Revenge is had. He pulls him down to the concrete and gets back into the ring. Not a hectic of a match as you can have here. Big elbow drop there from pork chop with the quick reversal from Santaku. He can't beat the strength of the sumo wrestler. Tag made to Josh here. Submissions expert on his way in the ring here. Kickboxing champion. See him egging on the other team. Tags in ace. Looks like we're going to go for a double team maneuver here. But Santaku is able to reverse. And meanwhile, Frosty makes his way into the ring. Santaku rolls ace through. Something's on fire. We can hear it. Can't see what it is. Santaku sent into the apparent concrete wall that is Miss Official. Still not sure what's on fire over here. Josh has picked up a guitar. Looks like he might sing us all a tune here. Never seen a guitar with frets on the backside of the neck. Oh, Josh is going to play us a tune. Looks like he's a little bored and wants to get involved in this matchup here. It's Frosty and Ace face off. Frosty going for the takedown with the, the loose pin here on Ace, who kicks out, of course. Josh still playing the guitar over there in the corner. Another pin here from Frosty up to a count of two, but Ace is able to kick out at the last second. Porkchop is coming to his aid here. This official telling him, I don't think so. Get up out of here. Meanwhile, Santaku getting a quick kick in. You can see him and uh, Ace going back and forth at each other here, but the tag is made to Josh, who has that guitar. He is now the legal man. I don't know if Frosty saw it, though. He's still going after Ace. And he's headed over to play a song for Santaku, who is now tagged in as the legal man. Not letting go of that guitar. Cut wrench suplex still hasn't let go of that guitar. Got it glued to his chest here, does Josh. And he's thrown over the top. Is that guitar still in one piece? Looks like it is so far. Santaku, it's almost like Santaku's mission now is to get that guitar off of Josh. It's like, I don't want to hear your songs anymore. Josh, the quick roll up here, still holding on to that thing. Ethan getting some action in this match, finally. Face it off against Josh here. Looks like Josh is to play Ethan a song. Ethan doesn't want to hear it. Goes for the power bomb, sets him down. Josh still hadn't let go of that thing. Frosty coming after him from behind. He's so focused on uh, playing his song, he didn't see him from behind there. Decides he'll get the tag into Ace so he can get out of the ring and play his music. Meanwhile, they're both just beating the piss out of Frosty. Here's Spinebuster there. Finally, the guitar gets caught up in the ropes, is taken off of Josh there. Hip toss, and now Santaku coming in. Miss Official has the guitar, says we're going to get this up out of here. Oh, nope, Miss Official's going to play us a song. Apparently, we're just passing the guitar around the ring. Mr. Duns wouldn't put up with this shit. He would, he would have broken that guitar and thrown that bitch up out of here. Is 
that a magazine in the middle of the ring? Did somebody, has that been confiscated from the crowd? Armbar applied here to Josh from Ethan, but the rope break. That's PWI's top 500 edition there in the center of the ring. We're playing songs, arguing over uh, what our PWI 500 listing is. Pork chop over the top of Frosty. Frosty goes flying with the big forearm to Ace. Meanwhile, Ethan's got the uh, headlock applied to Pork Chop in the center of the ring. Santaku tags Frosty in as the legal man. So I do believe it is Frosty and Josh here. Miss Official still playing her guitar there. That thing needs to be tuned a little bit, it sounds like. That absolutely no, no organization to this match at all. Figure four applied from Santaku to Josh here. Is he gonna be able to reverse? He is the submissions expert. Ty, you hear the damage going on the other side of the ring. Miss Official in close, just maybe she'll play a lullaby here for Josh. But no, he's able to reverse the pressure, but Foxy comes in, or Frosty, sorry, comes in with the Centon to break it up. There's Blaze, what's going on, bud? <laughs> uh oh, choke applied here. Hell yeah, Blaze got my burrito from Chipotle. Yeah. Right. It's pretty good though, right? It's a shitload of food, and especially if you get it with double chicken. Holy crap. But yeah, if you get the right blend on there, man, it's it's good stuff. This official still has that guitar. I don't even know who the legal guys in this match are. I'm pretty sure it looks like it's Josh and Santaku. Workshop being sent back to his corner. Finally, we have some order in this match here. This official has left the ring. She wants to go play, uh, play her guitar for the crowd instead. So, of course, all six men now beating the shit out of each other in the middle of the ring. <laughs> Santaku just falls over. Might have some damage to his knee there. Unable to stand up straight. Can he get a tag in here? Frosty calling for a tag. Makes it to Ethan instead. Ace gets the tag on his side. Thrown over the top shoulder from Josh. Caught by Ace there. But then Santaku comes in. Let's catch that one one more time. You see him thrown up and over and then caught. Ace is getting ready to spike him, but Santaku comes in. That's how you do it right there, Blaze. That's the that's where the good flavor comes from. Mixes with their with their hot sauce like perfectly. Tag from Ethan here. Oh, launched out of the ring. Ooh, and it hits either his knee or his. Let's see that one one more time as well. Sit over the top. And then pork shop lands on the table. What? Oh, the serious. And it thrown out again just now in our live view. Siren Cat is here and with the raid. What is going on, buddy? Were y'all were playing some more Dead by Daylight? What's been going on? We are here. This is the most hectic matchup of uh, <laughs> nothing in this match has gone properly at all. The official, the referee is going around playing the guitar. There's apparently one minute left in the match here. Huge neck breaker from Frosty to Pork Shop there. Okay, Siren. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the raid. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. You picked a great night to come chill on your screen. Championship Wrestling in full effect here. This match, like I said, just under a minute here to, to come to a conclusion. It's most likely going to be a time limit draw. <laughs> the finish of this match actually already happened. Uh, Pork Chop choked out Ace, or sorry, Pork Chop choked out Ethan about eight seconds into the match starting up so we just restarted it to for the for the fun of it but uh we have a fun one coming up next so everybody that's uh 
They came to hang out with Miss Siren Cat. Oh, we did get a finish here. Where's the... Oh, no. Not the official man in the matchup here. Josh is getting the tap out from... Fro he, got, he got Frosty to tap twice, but he was not the official man, and this is going to be a time limit draw. As we said, Porkchop, Ace, and uh, Josh already coming away with the victory there. But uh, <laughs> that was just a redo for fun. <laughs> so, the most hectic match, I swear. Well, that's all right. We're getting ready to move on to our next one here. We got an, uh, an interesting one here coming up. Of course, last Thursday, there was a triple threat match between George, George of the Jungle, Prim and uh, I believe it was Barney, I think. And uh, that match was uh, won by won by Prim, who uh, snuck up on George, but George didn't appreciate the fact that it was a triple threat match. Thought he could have done better in a one on one situation. So when he went to management and said he wants a rematch to face off against Prim to to see who the better man is. He said, I want there to be no outside interference. And they said, well, there's one way to guarantee that, and that's to put that match in a steel cage. So that is going to be coming at you next. So we're going to get that set up really quickly. I appreciate Miss Cat again for uh, for for dropping the uh, dropping the raid, coming to hang out. So hopefully you guys can uh, hang out and enjoy some uh, a ridiculous ass wrestling match. So we get these guys set up here. Get the cage set up. Siren says, I haven't made a wrestling. Oh, I could. I, you got to let me know. So I'll, I'll message you later and we will figure out. We'll, we'll put one together because we we definitely uh, we are, we're looking to add some some people in here so we can make that happen for you. A hundred percent. That'd be fun. All right, so let's make sure we got, we don't, it's not a tag team match, just a do, 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 all right, yep, do all of this. Obviously, there's no count outs, it's a cage match. All right, we are set up, it looks like here. We do have it, all right, so here we go. It is going to be George versus Prim here in the cage match. And uh, you guys go on and get your uh, get the betting going on right there in the chat. It is ready to go, and we're going to fire this one up and get started right now. And there he is, George of the Jungle, making his way to the ring. Siren Cat's going to grab some food. That sounds like a good idea. Speaking of food, coming out with that orange is the Jungle Man. No stranger to climbing, climbs his way into the ring here. Now, this is not a, uh, a typical OCW wrestling cage match where if you escape the cage, uh, you win the matchup. This is just a standard singles match. Prim makes his way to the ring here. Just a standard singles match just so happens to be inside of a cage. That's all. Prim climbs his way up here. It's totally not Johnny Bravo. That's definitely not who that is at all. I'm so excited. Uh, Siren and friends wanted to come hang out with us for the evening. I appreciate y'all so much. All right, and we are looking to get this one underway. They lock up right off the bat here, exchanging some holds. Oh, roll through here goes to the calf crusher is Prim. George going to be able to make his way out of this one. He's going to have to roll backwards through it, but the pain has got to be severe here. As the cameraman grinds the camera up into the cage here, George is able to roll through. These guys get after it here. Boom! Like from Prim, it's like a rock bottom it looked like there. 
Then the back body drop. Looks like he is manhandling George of the Jungle around here. George showing the middle fingers to Prim there. The old primitive potato. Oh! Cartwheel something or other. I'm not sure what that was. Then the vertical suplex there up against the cage. Sent off the ropes as George here. Prim on the attack. Goes for something. Looks like he missed it there. As the two exchange strikes here. One-handed power bomb showing the showing the strength that Prim is fired up here. And a big cutter from Prim. George is gonna be down on that one. Prim doesn't go for the doesn't go for the pin, but he picks him up and a big rock bottom with the pin. And if that is not gonna be it, George is able to kick out. And a sitting neck breaker from George in return. Who's trying to take advantage and get his breath back about him here? Sit out pile driver there. That should get him back on the uh, back on his game here. Flipped up over the top. Belly to belly suplex thrown. Better call somebody! Blaze still working on that Chipotle burrito there. Their hot sauce is no joke, but it's pretty good. Well, you, I mean, between the uh, the the queso, the and the uh, fajitas usually uh, cut some of the heat, but it depends on how it's all mixed up. Obviously, it's still a great mixture just without the hot sauce for future reference, but uh, it's definitely my go-to burrito there. There's Hero. What's going on, bud? We've got Prim and George in the steel cage right now. George is thinking it was unfair that he got beaten a triple, triple threat match. He wanted to face off against Prim one-on-one. -on -one. So bot on your screen said, all right, well, there's one way to guarantee that there's uh, no interference, and that's to put it in the steel cage. So that is what we've done. This is not the typical OCW cage match where you have to escape the cage to win. It's, it's literally just locking these guys inside for a regular match. And here is the pin there, but George is able to kick out at two. Blaze says, no hot sauce next time. Amen. Love me some hot sauce. I'm a hot sauce guy, 100%. Little fingers there from George. <laughs> Just throws his body at <laughs> Johnny Bravo there. This is a lock up here. Big a shoulder tackle there. Oh, Prim climbing the cage here. Is he looking to do some extra damage from up top? We're going to see. George is standing on the bottom. Not sure what to do here, but Prim is climbing now. Well, like I said, you don't win this match from uh, escaping the cage. So really, he's just making a whole lot of extra work for himself. Now he has to climb back in. It looks like, did he grab a weapon there? I'm not sure if the uh, if the referee can see that. And you see the blood in the ring. Hannah, banana, Hannah, what's up? Siren brought me here. I, uh, that is awesome. I appreciate you coming to hang out as well. Appreciate Siren so much for the raid and coming to coming to hang out with us. We're watching some a uh, little bit of wrestling action this evening. Got a cage match going on between George and uh, Prim here. Oh, Prim going for the pin. Does he get three? He does not. 
Now Georgia throws brass dogs. I didn't know. I don't think I set this as a no DQ match, but it is what it is here. Oh, going for that cross arm breaker. She said you guys were playing some uh, Dead by Daylight earlier. Well, I don't know if you were playing with her or not, but y'all had that going on. Uh oh, another roll through here to the headlock. Ah, only hand. What is hand sim? I'm not familiar with that one. I mean, the name kind of implies what it is, but what what is it? Uh, what what about the hand are you simulating? <laughs> Can you like smack people? Can you just <laughs> you're just a floating hand, like from uh, what was it, the Adams family, the little hand? Oh, okay, I got you. I understand now. Belly to belly suplex here. Prim's got blood all over. I'm over here talking about hand simulator, and somebody's being halfway murdered in the ring, and I'm not even paying attention. I'm like, I gotta find out about this hand sim. I got hands. Oh, got you, Dunn. Oh, yeah, it's, it is a William Regal right there. He must have tucked him onto the uh, apron on the other side. I, three dollars? I might have to try that one. Yeah, that'd be cool. For anybody that's joining in that, that uh, came over with Siren, once again, appreciate, seriously, appreciate the raid. means a lot. But anybody just showing up, this is uh, OCW. It's on your screen, Championship Wrestling. It's a little thing that we do here inside of Wrestling Empire where we, uh, we have created an entire wrestling roster made up of a lot of our, our viewers and our, our friends here that we hang out with and a couple of guys. I, I actually am a professional wrestler in real life. That's something I do. I've been doing for years. I love it very much. So a couple of the people that I wrestle with in real life, we've made characters. They have custom move sets. We have the custom arena set up and we have our own overlay graphics and everything that uh, we do. And these guys, uh, they bet their channel points on the matches for each match and it's just a fun thing that we do we do it twice a week we have two shows so this is mayhem that we do on mondays and then on thursdays we have destruction and there's always some crazy matches and things going on and, and we treat it just like uh, any other wrestling show so it's all storylines and, and matches working into each other different factions good guys bad guys it's a whole thing prim with the pin here in the middle of the ring and he was able Wait, because of the brass knuckles, bottom of your screen, the general manager says the match must be restarted immediately. The whole point of this match was to eliminate any outside interference and Prim went out, but immediately hooks in the hold and says, I, I don't need the brass knucks to win. I can clamp down, put the hold on. Prim gets the win over George in the steel cage. An old Johnny Bravo with the win. <laughs> I love this game, dude. Awesome stuff there. So Prim did, did establish that he truly was the better of the two after that matchup. I just realized I had messed something up on my side of things here. So let me get the get the fix in on that real quick. Uh, we can do it like that. All right. Well, we decided when putting the show together is uh, if we were going to go on and have the steel cage added to the ring that we might as well uh, have a couple of matches in it. So coming at you next is going to be a, uh, a special tag team match. Uh, really just for the hell of it. So we're going to see what happens here. Let's get this one set up.
All right. So I think we are good to go on this one. So like I said, just kind of putting a match together here, almost drawing names from a hat to see uh, what would make a good tag team cage match here. So we are going to have uh, Barney and Theory, who is the current Destruction Master, facing off against Keto and uh, totally not the Pokemon Machoke, to not at all, Dragon, who hasn't been in a match in a while. So we're going to see what he's got going on. So uh, get your bets going on over there in the chat, your prediction there with your channel points. And uh, we're ready to get this one fired up as well. We make sure that everything is right with it. Yep, we are all set. Let's do it. Glowing Dragon making his way to the ring with tag partner Keto. The Lucha Legend out here. As they make their way into the cage. It's unfortunate that there's not a uh, door on the cage. For these two. Oh! Keto is not, uh, not the best at climbing. Maybe uh, doesn't have the uh, peripheral vision with that mask on. Let's see if these two can make it into the ring. Keto bouncing on. You don't have to stand on the top, buddy. You can just climb. Y'all don't have to stand there. Oh, holding the trophy up from the top of the cage. Okay. Doug says he's evolving. It does look like he's in the middle of evolving. Finally make their way into the ring here. So here we have Barney and Theory making their way. Of course, Theory has that Destruction Masters title around his waist. As these two quickly make their way to the ring. Of course, it's Florida man and Alabama man. You can't put together a much better team than that. And this match is ready to get started right here in the cage. It looks like Dragon and Barney are going to be the first legal men here. But Keto goes after Theory immediately. This official is like, I'm going to need you to get on up out of here. Neo is here. What's going on, Neo? Man said I came to watch some wrestling. Huge 450 there from Barney. Theory finally sent back to his corner. Florida man's buck wild, baby. He don't he don't care about nothing. He's just flying all over the place. Neo said he just woke up. Well, hey, what a better way to wake up than with some OCW wrestling. Those brass knuckles still in the ring from earlier. This official noticing that, picking him up. The ring crew not doing a great job of clearing things out here. Bulldog from Barney on the dragon here. And then the huge drop kick. I'm telling you, Florida man is energized today. He is up all over the place. Keto trying to throw a punch there. You can see how, look, he's sprinting all over the place. Crossbody. Tags in his partner there. Miss Official is apparently not interested in uh, officiating this matchup. We'll climb to the outside here. Telling Barney he's got to get out of the ring. He did make the tag. We have the ankle lock here applied, but kicked away from Dragon. It is Theory. Keto coming in to break up the hold with the, the with the senton there. Barney tried to stop him, was unable to do so. Theory rolls him away and goes right back after Dragon, who gives him the hip toss there. Not sure why Miss Official is going after Barney here. Has picked up his broom, his trademark broom there, and is just beating him with the ring bell now. What is going on? Throws it at him. What is Miss Official's problem with Barney over here? Throws the broom at him as well. He's got something to say about that, of course. Meanwhile, oh, the reversal into the power bomb there. We have a pin here from Dragon, but Miss Official is over there messing with Barney. Quick headlock take over there from Theory. Another rope break. 
Bernie makes his way into the ring again. Miss Official will throw in the ring bell at him again. Not sure why the ring bell is inside the cage. Snapmare there from Dragon. Keto firing his teammate up, says let's keep it rolling. Dragon off the ropes into another headlock takeover here. A pinning attempt from Theory. Gets one, grabs the leg for two. Unable to hold it in, though. This dragon is able to kick out. Dragon seems to be a bit confused on where he is. I think he's trying to find his teammate. the ropes comes theory into the brick wall that is dragon both men go down the exchange strikes here in the center theory seemed to be getting the better of it sends dragon off the ropes again goes for the punch misses it dragon's still running tag made to his partner here but goes for the suplex is dragon barney says all right takes out both men still going super speed Straight back into the cage there. Meanwhile, this official going after Theory again. Going after Barney earlier, now going after Theory. Picks up that broom. Uh oh, pin made from Dragon here onto Barney. Barney able to kick out. This official throwing that broom at Theory again, yelling at him in the corner here. Yogi has returned. Welcome back, my friend. Have a steel cage tag team match here between Barney and Theory. Team Redneck over here versus the Lucha Legend and definitely not a Pokemon. That is not what Dragon is at all. arm drag there grabs the arm bar out of it but a roll through here from dragon keto comes in to assist we have a pin here from dragon but barney is able to kick out just barely though not much on that one and flipped into the cage is dragon While the ref's not looking, a quick kick up to Theory there. Huge spike DDT onto Dragon. Neck first. He goes for the pin. How is that a rope break? What is Miss Official doing in here? My man goes for the uh, STF there. Locks it in, but Dragon's able to slide out. Barney goes for the another flipping kick there. Rolls him up here. Will he get the three? No, Dragon is able to kick out. Two exchange strikes here. Dragon was looking to tag his partner there. Meanwhile, Keto is trying to climb up the cage. He's not interested in being partners with Dragon anymore. Not, uh, not enjoying this... Uh, Kind of random matchup made here for this steel cage match. Uh oh, big brain buster to Barney here. And I don't think that tall spiked up hair is going to do much here. And still, Miss Official still going after Barney here, throwing the ring bell at him yet again. I don't know what her bias against Barney here is. It's crazy.
Carney with the crucifix bomb rolls through, gets the tag to his partner here. Theory makes his way into the ring. There shouldn't be much time left in this matchup either. 15 minute time limit as always for standard matches here in OCW. These two just squaring off, sizing each other up here, seeing what's coming next. Dragon says, bring it. Keto asking for a tag now. He says, I guess if I'm going to be here, you might as well get me in the matchup. Another brain buster from Dragon on the theory. Finally, a tag made to Keto here. It's, I don't think he's even been, has he been a part of the match since it started here? So Keto should be chock full of energy here, ready to rock and roll. Box up, exchange holds here, rolls through, he gets the pin, but there he was able to continue the momentum of the roll. Throw Keto away. Makes the tag to Barney here. Comes rushing back in. Tag made back to Dragon. Keto didn't stay in the match for long. Tag made back to Theory. Quick tags made here. Florida and Alabama, man. Five minutes left in the matchup here. with the pin does not get three but is able to get out of the way before Barney lands the spinning corkscrew whatever the hell that was and ended up landing on his teammate there break. not sure how that was a rope break either spiked face first into the canvas is keto well the few minutes that he has had as the legal man in this match have not been uh, very kind to him at all goes for the belly to back suplex is able to hold for the pin and here gets a count of two but theory is able to kick out with just a few minutes left in this match up here another headlock take over here Barney with the crossbody on Dragon prevents him from breaking up the hold here. Theory cranking down. But a quick kip up from Keto. Eats a couple of lefts and rights from Theory, who's pretty fired up here. Chugo to lock up. He goes for the uh goes for the arm there, gets the hammer lock. Another headlock takeover here. Barney tries to jump over the top ropes to come assist his teammate, but stumbles and falls. Theory is able to slip away. Meanwhile, big, huge sit-out power bomb there from Dragon onto Barney. See a replay there. Huge power bomb. Lots of action going on at one time here. Keto with the knee bar applied to Theory. Will Barney be able to break it up here? Dragon comes over to stop him. Could this be it? Theory is able to get back out of it here. Keto holding strong in this matchup now. 
Big right hand to Theory. Theory looks like he could be out of it at any second here. Leaps over the top into the cage. Keto is ready for him on the way back in. Two quick left hands put Theory on the canvas. Locks up, sends him off the ropes. Lines him up, gives him the finger. Pulls his partner in here. Keto's just going to take the whole other team on by himself. Dragon says, fine, if you don't need me, I'll leave. Kato just beating down on Theory here. Body slam from Theory, though, but hooks the heel, brings him down, goes for the pin here. Could that be it? No, just a count of two. Theory's able to kick out. Got to be coming down to the, the final minute here of the match pretty soon. Are we not going to see a winner here? Barney calling for the tag here. Dragon's tagged in. Barney makes his way into the ring anyway. One minute remaining in this matchup. You see Dragon there just taking a look at Theory. Theory is in an incredible amount of pain. It appears he's hurt his leg. Dragon not really keen to take advantage of it right now. I think he's having a little bit of a beef with Keto here. I don't think the two are vibing very well together as teammates here. Dragon taunting at Theory a little bit, but he's going to need to wrap this one up here to get the finish. Because time is winding down. Probably 15 or 20 seconds left in this match up here. Goes for the suplex. Gets the pin. Is it going to be three? No. At the last second, Theory kicks out. Barney makes his way into the ring here. And Miss Official, of course, not happy about that. Dragon goes to the tag. The Keto here. Can they finish it up before time expires? They go for it together, and no! Unable, they are able to get the suplex in. Keto is fired up, but time expires, and this match is going to come to a draw. You can see Keto is frustrated with that outcome there. So it's Drake. As these guys fly all over the place, unfortunate that match comes to a draw. Crazy ass tag match that was in the cage. But we're going to keep things rolling here and get the next match set up. We're going to have the ring crew take the cage off as well. All right, we are headed towards the main event of the evening, but first our co-main is going to be a hardcore match between none other than Corey Jacobs and Malte here. I just realized I haven't updated Corey's name in the game. Let me do that while we're here. There we go. Got that squared away. All right, this match is set up here. Make sure our rules are all set. Everything is good. It looks like it. So our next matchup is going to be Corey Jacobs and Malte in a hardcore match. No disqualification. Falls count anywhere. Who is going to come away with this one? Of course, I'm sure Wayne will be in Malte's corner, but we're going to find out. You guys get your... Uh, Get your gamble on there over in the chat. Now get your prediction in of who you think is going to come away with this one. See if you can't win you some, uh, some pixels, some channel points. As we get this one underway. Corey on his way to the ring has that pipe with him there.
And his opponent, Malte. On his way to the ring, he does have Wade with him. Appropriate song for this matchup. All right, and this match is underway, and holy shit, Malte immediately just cracks Corey over the head with that weight and is still beating him down here, blood all over. Still swinging with that weight, goes to the top rope with it. And brings it down to the forehead of Corey Jacobs. Is he going to be able to come back from this starting out incredibly strong as Malte? Choking him here now. Forearms across the face, blood all over the canvas. Unbelievable. But Corey is able to launch Malte up and over the top rope. You take a look there, so much damage being done to both men right off the bat. And Corey with the huge spike DDT onto that weight. We'll get another replay here. See him jump up, hold the weight behind his head, and boom, spikes him down. So I'm getting what's up, bro. Was able to get a bet in at the last second, he says. Yes, sir. These two have been absolutely beating each other to death right off the drop. And you can see jumping off the apron. What a highlight reel match this has been so far. Jumping off the apron, but gets caught into a sidewalk slam. Boom. Or sorry, a backbreaker, not a sidewalk slam. He didn't get the knee in there. Incredible catch. What a show of strength because of the size difference between these two. That shows how, uh, how strong Corey is. It's a drop kick to the back of the head from Wayne here who's decided he's going to come help his teammate out. Little uncalled for considering how the match started up here. Refy McRef face making sure to uh, alleviate that problem. Corey goes for the jump and drop kick. Seems to have missed it though. Lands on the floor and Malte has got that pipe lit on fire here. Sidewalk slam there, goes for the pin, but where's Refi? Refi McRef face, get to the ring. Corey is able to kick out. Grabs that pipe and swings away, but then Malte with that weight and just beats down on the face of Corey, who's able to hook the lead rolling through. Meanwhile, Wayne is tripping over himself down in the corner there. Absolute craziest matchup of the night so far going on here. Malte goes up to the top. What's he thinking here? Changes his mind. Heads over by my commentary booth here. Ooh! Straight shot to the gut with that pipe there. You can see Corey still holding on to that. Goes that spinning back kick, misses it, does land the kick, which knocks Malte to the outside. Now Corey's got that weight. Malte just sends the lefts and rights directly through. Picks him up here and just sends him to the outside, to the concrete below. See the back elbow, the right hand there from Corey, but then up and over, get out of here, he says. Straight to his back, all the way out. Concrete floor here, no padding on the outside of the ring in OCW, no sir. Now with that weight, looking to enact some revenge, but Malte's got the hammer. Is doing some damage for sure. Now he has the weight and the hammer in hand. Corey says he ain't worried about it. Bring it on. He drops to the outside. Will he be grabbing a weapon here? Is he looking to bait Malte into something? Both men on the apron now. And a big shot with that weight. Malte goes up to the top, drops the elbow, but misses it. Didn't have the distance he wanted. Now Corey has that weight. 
Walte going after the ladder, and oh, Corey landing back first on the ladder on the ground there. Walte's got that camera, says we're going to film the destruction here. Uh oh. Somebody's phone is ringing here in the arena. It looks like, uh, or is that an iPad? Looks like, uh, Breathy McRefface is going to answer the call here. Nope, maybe not. I just wanted to turn it off. Interesting. Wonder who's making a call to the ring there. And Refi McRefface choosing to ignore it. Maybe that person will be making an appearance here momentarily. Who knows? These two are still going at it here. This match living up to its name is a hardcore match. That is for sure. Or he's calling for Malte to come back in. He's got that iPad. Clothesline takedown there. And ooh, goes down low. Goes down low on Corey. Took that one straight between the legs. Meanwhile, the referee is distracted by Wayne launching him off the top rope there. But the cross arm breaker applied from Malte here. Stomps down on the face, but is unable to hold on to the arm. Hip toss through. Will he go for another submission hold here? Off the ropes he goes. It must have been Prim. Prim was making that phone call, and he makes his way out to the ring after winning the match moments ago. Pin for Malte here. Who is, what is Prim doing in this matchup? It looks like he's going after Malte here. Oh, straight onto that ladder. Makes the pin attempt here. Is Prim going to stop it? No. Malte with the win. Looks like Prim was just there for a distraction, it seems. Not sure, but Malte coming away with the victory there. What an interesting turn of events here. Prim, even after winning his match, coming to uh, be a part of this one. Maybe we'll find out. After the show, what his uh, thoughts were on that situation, but uh, we'll have to find out Thursday on Destruction. But right now, we have made it to our main event of the evening, and we have been talking about it ever since last Thursday. Get this one set up here quickly, but this is a unique matchup for sure. And one I'm sure everybody is anxious to see the outcome of. Make sure everything is all set like it's supposed to be. Boom. We are good here. And I'm going to make sure that there is no uh, weapons or anything for this one either. All right. So we are headed for our main event of the evening, of course, on Thursday in a, in a just a fun little Tag match, it was Charlie and Yogi versus Tracy and Zach. And for the first time ever in OCW history, somebody was able to make Yogi Bear, the heavyweight champion of the world, tap out right in the middle of the ring. Yogi tapped out. He has defended his world title seven times, eight times. This man has been champion for almost the entire time that OCW has existed. He has fought through unbelievable adversity to maintain that title, all while still competing in other matches and Mayhem Melee matches, which will be coming up right after this main event. And he will be participating in that match as well. But such a unique match here. Tracy staking her claim to the title, says, I want a shot at being the world champion. 
Management approved it because she was able to make him tap out in the center of the ring. So get your predictions in. Do you think that Yogi is going to retain and still be world champion? Or is Tracy going to be the first person ever to get that title away from Yogi Bear? So get your bets in now and find out what is going to happen here in just a moment as we get this match underway. Yogi says, I still have nightmares. <laughs> she clamped that arm bar in, man. She won't go let go of that thing. Well, here we go. Here's Yogi. Of course, he has that pick and nick basket. Title belt on the shoulder. Talk about your Psalms. Talk about John 316. And Duns is right. Austin 316 says, I just, I just whipped, whipped your, your ass. ass. Duns is right. No other referee could handle a matchup quite as big as this one, except for him. So we are getting it started here. Make sure you get your bets in. Who do you think is going to come away with the title in our main event this evening for OCW's Mayhem? Yogi says, I don't think so. Tracy says, I'm not here to play games. Mr. Dunn's getting the extra, extra junk out of the ring here. Yogi going for the uh, the pin here. It's reverse, but that is going to be a rope break. Boom, with the quick press slam here on to Tracy. And now goes for the Cobra Clutch there. The hold is applied in tight. Is she going to, right in the middle of the ring too, is she going to be able to escape? It looks like she's able to get her arms off the knees and is able to pull through. Unbelievable strength shown there. That is a rope break though. Tracy steps to the outside here. What a size mismatch this is as well. Almost a full foot of height difference between the two and almost 100 pounds of weight difference between the two. And yet Tracy still found a way to hit just the right pressure point on the arm to make Yogi tap on Thursday. And she said she wanted the match, so management said we'll make it happen. And look at the strength, the power slam from Tracy to the champion double axe handle but she eats the the big right hand yogi says i'm we're we're not going to uh we're not going to take this match lightly from the statistics this should be the the simplest title defense ever for yogi but so far that does not appear to be the case yanks tracy back into the ring drops the big leg drop on her goes for another press slam but tracy able to counter her weight there and send yogi to the mat Uh-oh. Yo, he goes to the corner. Ace Montana making his way to the ring here. What has he got to say about this title matchup? Meanwhile, Yogi goes for the pin. Tracy's able to kick out. What is his Ace thinks he has some kind of claim to the world title. Not when you're this new to the company. But that would be uh, pretty standard for Mr. Montana to, th <laughs> to think he needs to be in the main, the main event here. Mr. Duns hasn't quite realized that he's here yet, I don't think. And uh, it doesn't look like he's even interested in interfering in the match. He just wants to be involved in the main event. Meanwhile, huge shoulder breaker from Yogi there. And Yogi's fired up. Mr. Duns is, is getting Ace up out of here. He, I think he just wanted to show his face during the main event of OCW. He can't. He doesn't like not being the main event. Yogi sent up over the top rope from Tracy and down to the floor. With the back body drop, Tracy picking up her uh, bat there. Of course, Mr. Dunn's not going to have that. Yogi picking it up, trying to throw it out of the ring. Not sure. Ace is still on the side of the ring here. Guess he thought he was going to be the main event every week after being the main event in his first uh, appearance on OCW Destruction.
Yogi goes for the springboard 450 on the ace and misses it. I guess he is very upset about there being interference in his main event match. No worse for where climbs back in the ring. Oh, huge spike DDT to Tracy there. Right on the crown of the head. I will say so far Ace has not interfered in the matchup other than being a distraction. Uh-oh. Tracy with unbelievable counter for the pile driver there. We've got to watch that one again. You can see Yogi goes up for the pile driver. Tracy goes to reverse and then turns it into a power slam. I don't I've never seen that in a video game or a real life match. Unbelievable. What a move that was there and to hold a hundred pounds heavier than your own body weight, but then goes low on Yogi. Mr. Duns is looking along. Not not sure he noticed that that was a low blow. Maybe he thought it was just a gut shot there. Hard to tell. Maybe he's not familiar with the anatomy of a uh, half man, half bear. The pin here from Yogi. Tracy able to slip away. Picked up in another shoulder breaker here. Will Yogi? Oh, Yogi's fired up now. He says, let's do it. Goes for the leg drop, but Tracy dodges. Now Ace has made his way into the ring. Mr. Dunn is not going to appreciate that. As Tracy and Yogi exchange shots here. You can see Duns is unhappy with Ace trying to involve himself in this main event. Tracy thrown over the top of the back body drop. Here's a pin, but Mr. Duns is not there to count it. He's there late. Count of one could have been three. Still having to deal with Ace here. And you hear, you hear the sound. Mr. Duns has sent Ace packing to the floor. Meanwhile, this is going to be a rope break here with the chokehold applied from Yogi. What a fight Tracy has put up in this title match here. Press slam there, up and down to the canvas. Yogi goes for the pin here, but Mr. Dunn still having to deal with Ace. But that is going to be it. Tracy could not withstand any more. Yogi does retain his championship for like the fifth or sixth time my man has held on to this title for months and months and months but what an awesome showing by tracy there even with the distractions from ace and ace is going after mr dunce here it looks to be which we know tracy and mr dunce have had a history before as well but they seem to have squashed that months ago but now ace coming in so maybe he has some uh dealings in the past with uh, Mr. Dunn's past promotions as well. I believe that may be wherever Mr. Dunn's worked before coming to OCW. I believe maybe he had a run in with Ace there. So we'll see if anything comes of that in the future as well. But that is it for the main event of the evening. Yogi coming away with the win, but that is not the end of the show for us tonight because every single Monday, every single OCW Mayhem, we finish off with the Mayhem Melee, and that is coming at you here in just a moment. That's going to take a little bit to set up, but what a match that was right there. We're going to make sure we get the uh, Mayhem Melee set up here. Right, we're all set on that. Make the ring the biggest size it can be. And then now we add everybody into the matchup. What an awesome, I'm telling you, man, what an awesome match that was. But we are headed into... The Mayhem Melee, of course, no uh, no betting on this one because it's impossible. We can't put 30 different uh, options in to the predictions, so we are just going to drop everybody in here.
keeps trying to put Mr. Duns in the matchup here. <laughs> Stop trying to put Mr. Duns in the match. <laughs> Damn it. All right, I think we might have. Everybody here now. All right, we have our roster set up. Everything is. Uh, Everything's ready to go here. We are all set. The Mayhem Melee, the final match of the evening is coming at you. And of course, this match is to determine who is the number one contender for the Mayhem Masters title. And that title is in the hands of Miss Charlie right now. Or, wait, no, Boost won that. Not bad. Boost won it back. Charlie had it. And then Boost won it back. But I think the, does the game still have it? It doesn't matter. Boost is going to be facing off against the winner of this match next Monday night. So we are going to go on ahead and get it going here. And let's find out who is it going to be. The game does not recognize the title change there for whatever reason because it does that. But uh, Boost is... The Mayhem Masters champion here. All right, and it's going to be facing off first against Geek, it looks like. And that is going to start this match up off right. Tag team champion, one half of the Greek gods and the flying ax handle from Charlie to start things off right off the bat. And these two get going. <laughs> Josh still continuing his beef with the, uh, with the Greek gods here. That's going to be uh, it's going to be addressed on uh, Thursday, I'm sure, by all involved. Charlie sent off the ropes here. Geek with the uh, quick belly to belly. Charlie with the knee bar here. Right. first entrant after the first two so number three is going to be Santaku making his way to the ring <laughs> Hero said he's ready for Josh over here I love it man I love it so much uh oh Charlie with the knees to geek here a little Muay Thai clinch there these two going after it but then a DDT Geek takes advantage here and then drives straight into the midsection of the sumo wrestler Santaku here. And, but launched over the top from Santaku is Charlie out into the floor. And she has not been eliminated. What's what's the word with that? What's going on here? Nobody what's Come on, game. Why are you doing this to me? We'll go figure this one out here. Elimination is the. I don't understand. 
It's set to... Planned intervals, elimination, one minute, non-title, hardcore, no falls, no stoppages, elimination countouts. What the hell, man? All right, well, unfortunately, we have to restart the match. All right, we have Charlie and Geek back in the ring. Unfortunate there, but hopefully the uh, I just I turned all the settings and then put them back. So we'll see if it wants to do it this time. But here we go. My bad, guys. All right, well we have Charlie and Geek getting after it here in the middle of the ring again. We'll see if uh, Charlie suffers the same fate when Santaku makes his way to the ring here. Big backhand with the belt there, so much so that it knocked Geek down himself. He put his whole soul into that. But thrown over the top rope, lands on the apron. Will he be knocked to the floor by Charlie here? Quick belly to belly there from Geek. Hip toss there, grabs the arm here. Stomping down on the face of Charlie, and here comes Santaku. The third entry into this matchup. The monkey flip there. From Geek trying to get Charlie over the top rope. Unsuccessful. Hot shot up onto the top rope. Happens to land on Santaku on his way into the ring. Charlie into the top rope. Santaku having a drink of water there. Sends Charlie to the rope again. Double team action there. 3D applied to Charlie. Three wrestlers here going after each other. All right, Zom getting makes his way to the ring. He's hauling ass to the ring. He's he's coming with a purpose. Grabs Charlie, goes behind, sends him to the ropes. Slender man here. Boom! Pop-up power bomb to the sumo wrestler. Look at the power from Zom getting here. Big boot to Charlie. Got the choke down on Geek now. He's putting damage to everybody in this matchup. Santaku and Charlie going after each other here in the opposite corner. Santaku had the bear hug applied, but Charlie reverses, and she's got the chokehold in here. Santaku able to get out of it. Has his own guillotine choke applied now, and Prim is next to make his way into the matchup. Now, of course, unique to... Uh, the OCW Mayhem main event here, which is the Mayhem Melee, unique to this Battle Royal here, is that it's not an over-the-top rope Battle Royal. It is uh, what we call the floor is lava, is once you uh, make your entrance and make your way into the ring, as we see, Charlie is eliminated by Prim. She is out of here, and Prim dangerously on the outside of the ropes there, makes his way back into the ring. But uh, it's, once you make your way into the ring, you do your entrance and you step through the ropes. Oh, Geek is knocked over as well, and he has been eliminated. But if you touch the floor again, you are eliminated. You do not have to go over the top rope. If, you're, if any part of you touches the floor, pop up cutter there from Big Slendy. But that is how eliminations in this match are handled. 
Power bomb from Slenderman came in today. He means absolute business. Meanwhile, Akuza has made his way into this matchup as well. But no matter how you uh, are sent from the ring, be it over the top rope, under, over the turnbuckle, even if you don't make it, if you get up on the apron and then immediately are knocked back off, you are eliminated. So that is how the Mayhem Melee works here. And Prim, hard throat punch there from uh, Santaku, is sent over the top rope, but makes his way back in. And Malte, after winning his matchup with Corey earlier, and these, those two have seen some serious damage this evening. Cleared by the doctors to make his way back into this matchup here. And immediately eats the sit-out pile driver, but Zom getting eliminated. We'll have to catch the replay there. see is Santaku that sent Zom getting over the top. Looks like he used his own momentum against him. Santaku set up onto the top rope now, but not over. Double stomp there from the sumo wrestler. Meanwhile, Boost makes his way to the ring. That is the reigning Mayhem Melee champion right now. So he's going to have a little bit of a say in who he faces off against next week. Unless he manages to win this matchup, then he gets to hold on to that title for another week and does not have to defend against anybody. Would be the first ever mayhem master title holder to do that and it looks like he's not doing it today as santaku immediately up and over the top turnbuckle sends boost to the floor you can see him off the rope into the hands up over the head and boom out of here he goes and boost will have no say in who he is facing off against next monday night Meanwhile, launched for the German suplex there. It looked like Akuza caught a stunner or a neck breaker on Malte out of a German suplex throw with Pork Chop, the atomic dog. Pork Chop Johnson makes his way into the Mayhem Melee here for the first time ever. And we will see if he is able to leave his mark on this matchup. That's what I'm saying, Josh. There is no other wrestling game in the world that does anything like this one, man. It's so wild. <laughs> Santaku and Porkchop both beating down on Malte here. Malte with the counter. Who's going to be next? It looks like it's Kakumba making his way to the ring. And he means business running, sliding in. And who does he go for first? Looks like he's going straight after Malte. But so was uh, Porkchop at the same time. So he settles on Akuza instead. Guys are all beating on Malte here. After they saw the beatdown he put on Corey earlier, they don't want any parts of that. Meanwhile, Porkchop is taking advantage of that weight being in the ring, is slinging that thing around. Who's headed out next? It is Tracy. Fresh off of her attempt at taking the title from Yogi Bear, was unsuccessful, but we'll see if she can make her mark here in the Mayhem Melee.
pile driver there from Kakumba on to Prim. Old Johnny Bravo getting one right in the top of the head. Tracy with the, oh, it looks like she has bloodied the face of Santaku with that bat, just beating him down here. And then hits him with the cutter onto the barbed wire bat. Unreal, Santaku is being absolutely demolished right now. Somebody might have to break that up. She is swinging for the fences here. Scully, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, the uh, the mayhem melee gets a little uh, gets a little wild here from time to time. That is for sure. Next up is DK. Makes his way into the ring. Has a bat of his own here. That might be the great equalizer to face off against Tracy here. Chop applying the chin lock here to Santaku, but now Kakuba has got Tracy's bat and it is on fire. And bodies are flying left and right here, but what is DK going to take advantage of that weapon of death that he's got in his hands right there? He's applying the sleeper hold to Kakumba here. That's not going to help you much in a uh, battle royal like this one. Kakumba able to counter in here. That bat's still on fire over there. Vertical suplex on to Tracy. And speaking of Tracy, here comes Zach making his way to the ring. Tracy's tag team partner, both in uh, OCW and in real life, of course. And that is definitely not the Iron Sheik by at all. That is not who that is. He is totally not wearing like three other wrestlers' gimmicks to try to hide the fact that he's still wrestling. Meanwhile, DK is beating the absolute piss out of Tracy with that Wade here. Is that going to have anything to say about that? Right now, he's facing off with pork chop, and they are in the fire, but DK has been sent over the top. He is out of here. About as quick as he came, he is gone. Kakumba dangerously on the apron over there. That's not a good spot to be in in this matchup. Santaku still holding on from his... Uh, Third position of entry in this match. We'll see if he's able to hold out. But George, George of the Jungle on his way to the ring. And now both bats in the ring are on fire. And it is pandemonium here in the middle of the Mayhem Melee. Bodies all around. There's fire, there's blood, unbelievable. The ref is even holding a baseball bat on fire now. <laughs> Huge sit-out powerbomb from Santaku on the Yakuza there. We'll take another look at that in the replay. What a catch. As Akuza was going for that barrel roll kick there. It was caught and absolutely decimated by Santaku. And here comes Damien making his way to the ring. I'm telling you, Josh, the counters have been on point tonight. You are not lying. But Zach, with the monkey flip, sends George over the top rope. He is up and out of here. Damien with the big vertical brain buster on the Santaku. How hard is it to hold up a 400 pound sumo wrestler and drop him straight on his head? Kakuma and Pork Chop exchanging holds in the center of the ring. Tracy and Prim going at it here. Tracy tries to get Prem up to throw him over the top rope, but is unable to muster the strength to keep him in the air. Santaku's face completely bloodied here. Oh, pork chop! Sent over the top rope, face first to the concrete. And running by him is Alex. Coming in to see if he can make his mark. 
and where he'll finish in this matchup. Never made it far in a Mayhem Melee match. Kakuba sent over the top. Akuza and Damien being sure he is out of here. Meanwhile, Damien beating on Akuza with that bat now. But Akuza is launched over the top rope as well. He has been eliminated. So now Zach and Damien going after it here. Prim beating down on Santaku here. And Zach going after that, using his wife's barbed wire bat there, swinging it strong. Pirate making his way to the ring now. Who is that? Malte launched over the top rope. But the drunken pirate makes his way to the ring. Brings that bottle with him. Throws it at Damien. And Alex launches Zach up over the top rope with the standing power bomb. We'll see that one one more time. Oh, a huge explosion in the middle of the ring. The game system explodes in our live view here. And Geek, my friend, yes, sir, you were number two in this match, and you have been unfortunately eliminated. We'll be back to fight again on Thursday for sure. Santaku has been in this match since number three and is still barely holding on. Brain buster from Damien. Oh, and as soon as I say it, I launch Santaku over the top rope, and here comes Corey Jacobs making his way in. But Santaku has been eliminated. He's not happy about it. He's climbing back in. Refy McRef face blood all over his pants from these wrestlers. He's saying, no, sir, you are out of here. Alex dropping the Canadian Destroyer onto Prim there. The forearm to the back of the head. Corey going after Pirate here. S jumping DDT there. Spikes Pirate right on the forehead. That's not going to be good after a few rounds of rum in the afternoon. And here it comes, his axe making his way out. AF Killer makes his way to the ring. much going on here who is going to be the next wrestler to be thrown out of the ring Tracy and Damian both teetering towards the ropes everyone all in one pile AFK swinging that bat with purpose doing a lot of damage in the process it's taken from him here as Damian grabs a hold of it super kick from Alex to pirate there and here comes Wayne making his way to the ring. They have Killa with the power slam onto Prim there and is beating on him with that bat. And then Wayne comes over with the shooting star press off his feet. Josh points out that somebody is injured outside of the ring. I haven't uh, noticed that. I'll keep an eye out for it. Wayne has Pirate up in the air, but Damien smacks him right off his shoulders. Oh, it's Malte. Malte is laying over on the side. That's Wayne's tag partner there. Is out cold on the side of the ring after suffering that fall from over the top rope earlier. You see these guys throwing every move they have at each other. Uncle Malte said, it's past my bedtime. I'm out, but I'm taking a nap. <laughs> oh, 
way up K. Killer thrown out. Has been eliminated from the Mayhem Melee. Pirate eliminated from this matchup as well. It'll be time to drink rum another day. While Tracy and Alex are going after each other, Wayne and Josh going after each other, Corey and Damian, and here comes the champ, Yogi Bear, making his way into the ring after his... Uh, Match up with Tracy earlier on. We'll see if those two will continue to fight it out or if they have that shared respect now and they will uh, stay away from each other for this evening. Booga, booga, booga. Hey, there's Jealousy. What's up, buddy? Uh oh, Alex is fired up here. Going for Josh with the big cutter straight to Josh. Going after Yogi now. Huge spike DDT onto Yogi. Could that put the champ down? But Tracy, there is a shared respect there of her and Yogi. Tracy going uh, to the defense of Yogi here. And now the three beating down on Alex here. Meanwhile, Corey and uh, Wayne getting after each other there. Wayne with the stunner on Corey. As Amber makes her way into the melee. I don't believe Malte has gotten up yet. He may need some medical attention here. But the Vampire Amber has made her way into this matchup. Bodies flying all around the ring. Damien sends Wayne up over the top to the concrete on the floor, and he has been eliminated. Uh-oh, and Damien has also gotten Corey. Eliminated him. Yogi sends Prim over the top all at the same time. Eliminations left and right here. Josh eliminated as well. Didn't even see that one. He must have gone under the bottom where he's unhappy about that one making his way back in. But here comes Theory on his way to the ring. Damn, Jealousy says he's watched the stream for one day and 15 hours. Good grief. A long time. Damien holding his tag partner up for the Brain Buster here. They must have had an agreement ahead of time that uh, this is an everyone for themselves match. I appreciate you letting me borrow your screen there, Jealousy. Uh-oh. Theory just, I'm pretty sure he just knocked himself out. What happened there? Theory literally just knocked himself out of the matchup. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kitra has made his way in. Well, he's got the uh, the destruction cage match to worry about on Thursday. I don't think he's too interested in uh, hanging out in the Mayhem Melee here. He's got his own things to worry about. Hell yeah, he did Dunn's. <laughs> he said, I ain't fucking with this. I'm out of here. Balte's still laying on the side of the ring. He might need some uh, medical attention there. And the tag partners still going after each other here, Amber and Damien. Big boot from Yogi to Kitra. Kitra now applying the headlock takeover to Damien here. So currently in the matchup, we have Kitra, Damien, Yogi, Tracy, Alex, and Amber. Adding into that group, coming with the broom of doom, is going to be Florida Man. Barney headed into the ring. Stunner to Alex from Yogi there. Will that be enough to 
slow him down enough to where you can send him over the top rope. Bulldog from Yogi. Death Valley driver from Kitra. On to Barney. Crucifix tape down there, but Barney sends Kitra up and over the top rope. Dragon making his way to the ring with that trophy of his. The proud fighter in the Pokemon world making his way to the ring here in OCW. Balte is still laying on the ground. Yogi eliminates yet another wrestler. Damien sent over the top and out of here. Yogi himself put him, see him put the three fingers up. So that's the third one. Damien eliminated quite a number of wrestlers himself this evening. But Yogi, the world champ, is fired up here. That picnic basket on fire. Eliminated Damien now going after his tag partner, Amber. And sends Alex over the top rope. The champ is on fire here. Dragon eliminated by Barney. We are down to just four in the ring now. But Soggy is on his way to join in, and there are six wrestlers left to make their way into this matchup. Yogi sends out another. He's going for a record number of eliminations here. Sends Amber out. You see him with the broom sweeping the floor. Says it's a clean sweep out here. Referee fussing at Damien. Said he has been eliminated. He has to get out of the ring. Yogi now going back after Tracy after their match earlier. Will he be able to continue the clean sweep here? Swinging that broom of doom. Soggy picks it up, however. Throws it. Misses contact. Yogi with the Thez press onto Barney. Damien's still upset about his elimination. Yogi tries to throw Barney over the top rope, but was not as close as he thought. Here comes Foxy. The natural. Makes his way into the ring. Uh-oh. Barney's picnic basket is on fire yet again. Or sorry, Yogi's picnic basket. And Barney has it now. And is immediately going after Foxy. And throws him straight out as soon as he uh, gets in the match. Sit out of here. Damien still upset, still in the ring. Yogi... Going after Barney now with that flaming briefcase. Barney with that rolling kick. Tracy and Soggy going back and forth. It's not often this late in the match we have this few wrestlers in the ring. Blaze makes his way out. Let's see what his impact is going to be on the Mayhem Melee. Immediately going after Barney. Oh, Tracy knocked over the top. Will she go to the floor? Oh, Barney launched over the top by Blaze. Lands directly on top of Malte, who still hasn't moved. Zach's here. What's going on, bud? And yes, sir, my friend, you are, uh, have already been in and eliminated from this matchup. Lots of eliminations left and right here going on. Frosty, the sharpshooter, making his way to the ring. And immediately goes after Blaze with that nightstick. 
Blazing Dutch appreciated that single leg drop kick there. And he is just swinging on anybody in his way, as is Yogi right now. Going after Soggy picks him up. Yeah, Malte is, uh, might be dead over there on the side of the. Yogi picks up Tracy and just body slams her onto the pile of guys in the ring here. Tracy still holding out. Tracy and Yogi, the, the longest surviving participants in this matchup so far. Was that a Canadian destroyer from Blaze there? And then the leg drop to boot. And here comes Ace Montana with just two entrants remaining in this matchup. Ace has apparently grabbed a hold of a uh, tombstone here. Maybe indicating uh, what move he's going to come use when he gets to the ring here. Tracy and Frosty working together on Blaze here. Meanwhile, Yogi and Ace working together on Soggy. Josh said it's a tombstone for Malte. We're just going to set it over there by him. Oh, Yogi knocked off and he can't hold on. Yogi inadvertently eliminated from the matchup after eliminating like six other wrestlers. And here comes Jay. Uncle Jay making his way to the ring. Yogi did such a great job in this matchup so far, almost making it all the way. And Jay sent out as soon as he comes in, he's been eliminated. Unfortunate for him. What a great starting position with just one wrestler left to go. Who's going to be the final entrant in the Mayhem Melee to have the best chance at taking on Boost next Monday for that Mayhem Masters title? Frosty eliminated, sent over the top. He is up out of here. And it is down to Blaze, Soggy, Tracy, and Ace Montana. Who's going to be the last entrant in this battle royal? It's Keto, the Lucha legend. Keto makes his way into the ring. Blaze is fired up. Got that broom of doom, and now it's on fire. The nightstick, he's just holding holding the flames here. Swinging at everybody in the ring. Picks Ace up. Will he throw him over the top rope? He does. Ace up and out of here. Eliminated, and there are four wrestlers remaining in this matchup. Blaze, Tracy, Soggy, and Keto. <laughs> that whole thing with Mike Tyson is one of the funniest things that I think has ever happened on our streams, dude. It was so great. Keto is putting in work here, taking advantage of his final entry spot here. He goes back and forth with Blaze. Blaze has been dominating the later part of this match. <laughs> Sam, I agree with you, buddy. That is that will be hard to top. That shit was funny. The Tyson Daga. I like it. Sounds like a band name. Soggy has been absolutely pulverized from the time he got in inside the ring and has somehow not been thrown out for how tiny he is. Definitely the smallest wrestler in the OCW roster. It should be easy to just kind of pick him up and lob him out of the ring. Wait, Ace has made his way back in here. 
Refy McRuffey saying, nope, you are out of here. We've already had to deal with this once tonight. Keto and Blaze hitting the 3D. Little team effort there on Soggy, and Soggy is down. Will Blaze be able to pick him up and send him out of the ring? Keto and Tracy duking it out with the weapons here. Big choke slam from Blaze. It's got to be about time to send Soggy out of here. I don't know how he's still standing. Trying to get back to his feet here, the tiny superhero. Meanwhile, Malte is still laying at ringside, has not moved a muscle. Oh, Keto sends Tracy out over the top rope. Hits the floor. The floor is lava. She's been eliminated. We are down to our final three between Soggy, Blaze, and Keto. Keto is fired up here. Sends Blaze off the ropes, hits the drop down, and he collides face first with Soggy. Got the bear hug applied, goes for the Kimura on the arm here, has it locked in, but that is not gonna get you the win in this match. Tracy worked, she was in this match for such a long time. Possibly one of the longest times we've ever seen somebody survive in this matchup. Keto, Blaze, and Soggy coming in late, having the advantage, making use of it as best they can. Keto grabbing that nightstick right in the lower back of Blaze here. Soggy went for a power bomb there, unable to get the weight of Keto up in the air, and now Keto making him pay for it here. Blaze just standing along, watching. Keto flipped up and overhead. Soggy taking that nightstick to Blaze here, doing a little bit of damage. But Blaze says, I don't think so, grabs the nightstick himself. Keto loops overhead. And gets the running in Zaguri. Straight to the back of the head of Blaze. Soggy goes up. Will Keto be able to take advantage here and knock him to the outside? He throws the left hand, the right hand, and Soggy lands head first on the concrete. Unbelievable. Watch this landing. Look how strong of a right hand. Oof. Right on top of the head to the concrete. And we are down to the final two. It is going to be Tito and Blaze. Soggy is able to make his way to this. I don't even know if he knows where he is. And then Keto catches Blaze and sends him over to the outside. Tells him you're number one after he lands. Keto is your Mayhem Melee number one contender for the Mayhem Masters title next Monday. What a finish that was. You see him celebrating there. What an awesome, awesome event we had tonight. Technical difficulties early on, but we were able to get everything sorted out, get everything all set up and ready to go. As we recap the night here before we uh, jump out and switch over to some SnowRunner this evening, I believe is the, the game plan. But the first match of the night, Charlie, Boost, and Killa in a triple threat for the Mayhem Masters title after last week's event. So uh, Boost was able to come away with the victory there and regain his control of the Mayhem Masters title. So 
he will be the one facing off against Keto next week. There's Charlie speaking of which. Howdy, howdy. But uh, she was defeated, unfortunately, by Boost in that matchup. Heading into the next match was the trios tag match that saw Porkchop, Ace Montana, and Josh facing off against Santaku, Frosty, and Ethan Cross, which was uh, quite an entertaining one there because I lasted all of about eight seconds. Porkchop locked in the... Uh, <laughs> The face lock on Ethan Cross, and, and and he had it just right, and Ethan tapped immediately. Of course, uh, we restarted the match for, for fun here on the stream and uh, got to watch them go the distance. They went all 15 minutes there for a time limit draw, but the official standing is, is that Porkchop, Ace, and Josh are the victors of that match. Up next, we had George versus Prem, a little bit of a rematch that they put in a cage to make sure that there was no outside interference and Prim was still able to best George in that matchup. While the cage was added to the ring, we wanted to get a tag team match in and have a little fun, a little bit of a random selection there. So we added the old redneck boys, Florida man and Alabama man, Barney in theory, facing off against Keto and Dragon. And uh, Keto and Dragon seem to be uh, having some back and forth there, not, uh, not gelling well as a tag team by any means. So... Of course, we had, uh, or no, that met, did that match go to a draw or did, uh, I think that match went to a draw as well. See, I, I haven't added that to my system yet. The, the time limit draw. I got it. I needed to do that. Um, but either way, so that match went to a draw as well, but there was definitely some, uh, friction there between keto and dragon. So we'll see where that goes. Of course, heading into our co-main event of the evening, was a straight up hardcore brawl between Corey Jacobs and Malte and good grief did that match deliver all kinds of highlights left and right serious damage done to both of those guys but in the end Malte was able to come out with the victory there and for that or before we head into the mayhem melee we had our main event of the evening the world championship match between Tracy and Yogi Bear, Tracy being the only person to ever have Yogi tap out in an OCW match Thursday. And uh, she was granted the title opportunity and uh, came in and put up a hell of a fight. But Yogi was able to retain for like the 10th time his world title. So that, uh, that rounded out our matches for the evening before we got to the Mayhem Melee is how we cap off every Monday Mayhem show here in OCW. And it was uh, it was quite the matchup as we all saw. But Keto coming out on top after airing those frustrations with Dragon earlier on in the evening came out like a bat out of hell as the last entrant in the Mayhem Melee left his mark on the match, and he will be facing off against Boost next Monday. Awesome show tonight. Fun time for sure. So uh, we will be heading on and playing some SnowRunner here in just a little bit. So I, I believe we've got some uh, food going. So I'm going to see what the word is on food and everything like that. Grab something to drink. If food's going to be a little while, maybe grab a snack before starting up SnowRunner here in just a little while. So if you don't mind hanging out, probably about 10 or 15 minutes, I'll uh, I'll be back with some SnowRunner. If you have SnowRunner, definitely feel free to uh, join in with us. I believe we're in Alaska getting some work done. I have no idea what mission we landed on or whatever. We'll figure it out when we get there. But uh, Geek says, did you make the new gear yet? Have not gotten to do that yet. I'll have that ready by Thursday for you guys' match. That was the game plan for that. But uh, Duns, Josh, Geek Hero, all these guys hanging out. AFK's been in here. Zomgen's been in here. I appreciate all of y'all for chilling with me this evening. Fun times as always. And uh, good matches. Great stuff all the way through. But it is, that's going to be it for us. So, for OCW Mayhem, I've been Alex. I've been on your screen. You've been you. All of you guys are awesome. Like I said, don't go anywhere. SnowRunner's coming at you here in about 10 or 15 minutes. So definitely hang around for that. But until Thursday for OCW Destruction, we will see everybody next time.
Angel. Sometimes I wish I did a little more with my life instead of hanging out in front of places selling weed and shit. Like maybe be an animal doctor. Why not me? I like seals and shit. Or maybe an astronaut. 